ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Miss Lena Horn. To get an opportunity to play Lena Horne is quite an honor. I think it's a love letter to her, really. The great thing about this musical is that you find out a lot of things about Lena that you never knew before. Well, the journey really starts when she was at the Cotton Club. She was like 15 years old. Miss Lena Horne! My, 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 my! So that's why everybody made such a fuss. Go change the number that I'm living at. Cause nobody wants you when you're old and gray. There'll be some changes made today. There'll be some changes made. I'm gonna change my hair and makeup how I took my hair. So we go through the journey of her, her life beginning as this teenager into a life of all of a sudden she's in California becoming a movie star. Hooray for Hollywood, that screwy valley hooey Hollywood, where any office boy or young mechanic can be a panic with just a good looking dad. Whenever she was in a movie, you ran to see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> because she was so beautiful and she was a, a black woman who was glamorous in the movies. She wasn't just playing a maid. And as I got older and got to see her perform, for my 18th birthday, I was taken to see her at the Waldorf Astoria. And she was just stunning and magnificent, and it was like, wow. I love a theater, but never come late. I never bother with people I hate. That's why the lady is a tram. Life without care. I'm broke, it's over. So the journey takes you on a trip of what this woman went through that people, a lot of people don't know. It is heavy, it is spectacular, and I'm in it, and I feel so powerful. Well, I remember, so powerful. And I don't care who knows it, even if my voice starts to age, let it happen, because I have stopped. And glamour with the vision, nothing's ever stopped me, and nothing ever will. When I sing, the heat pours out of me. The great thing I love about this musical is a lot of times when you do something, it's all new music. But these are the songs that people have associated with Lena over the years, and we do it in the show. You know? Kay Thompson is a woman who was at MGM and who worked with a lot of the up-and-coming stars. And she was one of the people that helped Lena learn how to sing, how to move. One of the other characters in the show is Billy Strayhorn. He's another fascinating character, and who was the best friend of Lena Horne. She adored him. I'll forget you. You better not. I will. I
Then, of course, Lenny Hayden, who was a, a big part of her life, and he was, uh, in his own right, he was quite a star at MGM. He did all the, uh, the arrangements and things. They wound up getting married, which back in that time was really something. In fact, they kept it a secret for a long, long time. Lenny and I got married. You got married. I don't know. is such a people show. I'm fascinated every night to see what the reaction is going to be. And people just, they love it. They just love it. Uh, uh, they walk out talking about how fabulous the show is. We have the most incredible band. The set is gorgeous, the lighting is gorgeous, and of course we have gorgeous costumes. Just one of those things. And so people walk out feeling so good and so surprised by a lot of things that they have learned about the character, and they're just blown away. They're blown away. Yeah!